So I like to pick up another rack uh, instead of using the box that I showed earlier. The reason for that is that I can actually move the samples from the top row to the bottom row, which also makes it easier to keep track of everything. Uh, and of course, since I have moved, then it's again very important that I clean my hands or change gloves. So then I open the box with the samples and select the samples I want to pipette. Uh, and I like to have a little bit of space between them if I have the opportunity because it makes it way easier to open the lids with one hand. So now I've taken some samples here and I just close it down. Like this, move the uh, 100 microliter tips. And now I take the 10 microliter tips instead. And here we are normally uh, pipetting a volume from one microliter to five microliters. So then again, I open uh, the PCR tubes. I open the box, uh, align those two things. I take the pipette. Check it's the right volume I want to use. Open a tube with samples and suck up uh, the samples. And here is, especially when you're working with small volumes, it's very important to look at the pipette tip to see if you actually have gotten some of the samples. Then I pipette in to the tube and here I get rid of the tip right away and close it down. And then I also move the sample down to the last row because now I have many ways of seeing where I am, both with the lids that are open or not, where the sample is on the rack, but also on the map I make with the pipette tips. So the next one, open, taking a pet tip, sucking up the sample, place it on the side of the tube. And when you use very small volumes, like one or two microliters, uh, you can actually make a small droplet on the side of the tube as well, which makes it even easier to see. Get rid of the tip, close the tube, and place it on the bottom row of the rack. And then the process continues. After you're done, it's very important that you close everything, put the samples back into the freezer. And the last thing we need to do uh, is actually uh, mix the PCR tubes. So then we need to take it out of the UV cabinet. Uh, and then we will go to the PCR machine and start that and while it's running we will also clean up the entire space so somebody else can come into the lab and have a nice working environment mm. uh, so you have all the samples there and they are mixed okay uh, so now i have uh, mixed the samples and the pcr reagents and then i need to go into the lab where the pcr machine is and before I do that, it's very important that you remove your coat because now we're going into a room where, where PCR reactions happen. So it's a high risk of contamination. So therefore this lab coat that are working in the pre-PCR room is not allowed in any of the other rooms. So then I take it off before I continue with the samples.